Good morning students. Today I will be continuing with the same topic we were discussing after your unit test that is trigonometric identities. I hope you all have followed the PDF material and the audio I have already sent it to you regarding or describing what do you mean by trigonometric identities and I hope you have till date learned the three most important trigonometric identities that is sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1, sec square theta minus tan square theta is equals to 1 and cos square theta minus cos square theta is equals to 1. Now children, the exercise you are having from your NCRT book 8.4. From there, I have sent you certain problems and I will be describing you, making you understand in a broad manner how can we solve such type of problems based on trigonometric identities. How to use them? Correct children. So I have taken the first question of your 8.4 exercise. What is that? I hope you have gone through the material and here is the explanation for that particular problem. So what was the question? Express sine theta, sec theta and tan theta in terms of cot theta. Now what you are getting from the part children? We were having all these six trigonometric ratios. And we have certain formulas in the triangles, correct? Now, in using the, by using the identities, how we are going to write sine in terms of cot, sec in terms of cot, and another thing that is tan in terms of cot. Now, the first problem, I am here doing the solution. Now, see, I am taking this particular tan theta first. As all of you know, the reciprocal relationships. What is the relationship between tan and cot? Yes, that is, they are reciprocal to each other. Correct? So, this is a very easy thing. I can easily write tan theta is equals to 1 by cot theta. Am I clear? I hope I need not explain this one because this is a preliminary part you are studying. Correct? But what about converting sine and sec in terms of cot? Now we have to take the help of the three identities here. Now look very carefully. Okay? See, this is sine theta. And look very carefully the three identities how they are going to help me to convert sine in terms of cot. Correct. Let us use the third trigonometric identity. What is that? Cosec square theta minus cot square theta is equals to 1. So can I write cosec square theta as 1 plus cot square theta? See what I am writing? Now, what is the reciprocal relationship between cosec and sine? This is 1 by sine square theta as 1 plus cot square theta. I hope this is clear. What about sine theta then? Reverse it and it is square. So, I am going to write directly root over of 1 by one plus cot square theta. See what I have done? I have written cosec square theta as 1 plus sin square theta. 1 by sin square theta. And in the next step, I made it reverse. That is sin theta is root over of 1 by 1 plus cot square theta. Correct? So this is how. Sin theta on one side and 
only cot theta on another side. This is what they want. This is what they want us to express sin theta only in terms of 1 plus, that is only in terms of cot theta. Am I clear? We will be going to the third part. What is that? Third part is how to convert set theta in terms of cot theta set theta in terms of cot theta now what is and how to convert that in terms of cot theta see can I use second identity see very carefully what is second identity sec square theta minus tan square theta is 1. What about sec square theta? 1 plus tan square theta. And what about sec theta? Root over of 1 plus tan square theta. How about changing tan into cot to get the result? I am going to write 1 plus tan square theta as One plus one by cos square theta again use the reciprocal relationship. So you can understand very well that the reciprocal relationships are very important here. And I'm going to take out please. Have a very clear look of it. Sec theta is equals to root over of 1 plus cot square theta by cot theta. How? This is cot square theta and a square root was there and I am removing the square root from the denominator. So this is what I have done. Sin theta in terms of cot theta, tan theta in terms of cot theta and sec theta in terms of cot theta. Okay students. Now let us go with the second problem. I have chosen a problem from question number 2. That is a MCQ pattern problem where you have four options. So see, this is a problem I have chosen for you. We have four options and we have to take out the correct result and put a tick mark over there. But before that, we must solve it. Okay, so have a look on it. What is it? 1 plus tan theta plus sec theta. 1 plus cot theta minus cosec theta is equals to what? So, what for knowing what? I have to solve it. Okay, children. So, let's start with the problem. So, what I will do in the very beginning, I will convert tan into sine by cos. I will convert sec into 1 by cos. Multiply it to 1 plus cot theta minus cosec theta. So, you are seeing here very carefully that everything I converted into sine cos relations. Okay, some reciprocals and what we have studied in the first part of the chapter. Correct. After that, I am going to take the LCM. Here the LCM is cos theta. So I am going to write here. Okay. In the second term. <coughs> the 
This is sin theta in the denominator. So here the denominator is cos theta. Here the denominator is sin theta. And what I am getting here, see, cos theta plus sin theta plus 1. Sin theta plus cos theta minus 1. So, doesn't sound like a plus b into a minus b form. So, what is a plus b into a minus b? a square minus b square. So, let's apply that. So, it is a plus b. It is a minus b. So, I'm going to write down. Cos theta plus sin theta whole square minus 1. In the denominator, I'm writing the product of the LCMs, that is cos theta into sin theta. Now, let us open the A plus B whole square formula with sin cos. So, what is it? Cos square theta plus sin square theta plus 2 sin theta cos theta minus 1. Now, very important thing. What is the first identity? Yes. That is, sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1. So imagine, sin square theta plus cos square theta will become 1. And that one will cancel with the another one here. And I'm going to write down here, only that 2ab term, that is 2, by, so entire thing is cancelling down to 2 only. Entire thing is coming now as 2 as a correct option. So, what is the option number here? Here, here, here. So, here is the correct option number. Okay, students. So, I hope you understood the two problems I'm explaining you in this particular video. Okay. So, please go for the another problems. I am sending you, I will be coming up with you with more explanation of the problems. Goodbye for today. Have a good day.